All right, Gemini. The overall energy I see for you is the Ten of Wands in reverse. There could have been a situation that was extremely burdensome to you, okay? It's like, you know, it was a tiring long road for you, okay? This connection, this situation, okay? Something has been dragging for a very long time, stressing you out. You could have been carrying a burden and a weight or, and the weight of something on your own, all right? Could have been something where, you know, you were super frustrated. It was giving you a lot of anxiety, stressing the shit out of you. And you were overburdened, okay? Could be worry, could be stress, okay? Whatever it was, right? You are relieving the pressure, okay? That's the overall energy. You've relieved the pressure or you are going to, okay? You're releasing the stress, the burden, could be extra responsibilities and you're just getting, or in short, you're just getting something off your chest, okay? This is more like enough is enough. Okay. Two of wands here in the past. You could have had to make a decision. You were indecisive about something. This is indecision, all right? You could have been at a crossroads. This is more like someone who has to make up their mind. Honestly, with indecision, this is a lot of stagnant energy, okay? It's like, come on now. Do you even know what you want? That's the kind of energy that this card screams, okay? Two of Wands is very indecisive. Like, do I want to, do I not? Do I want to, do I not? Okay. And honestly, this energy can go on for a very long time. And because of that, you can lose a lot of opportunities. All right. This is choosing between two paths, two people, two situations, whatever. All right. But you had to pick a direction. I don't see you picking a direction, but this is inaction. Okay. You are still in the process of making a, uh, a choice in the past. What's happening? What's happening? The tower in reverse. That's your current situation. Avoiding, avoiding a disaster, avoiding something from crashing, all right? If not, look, it, it can be two ways. The clarifiers will change the entire reading, as you guys know that. But yes, the tavern in reverse is, okay, either it's something that has been like, um, you're trying to avoid a situation that can lead to a disaster, okay? Or it's like a... a uh, it's like you're trying to avoid a big loss or damage, okay? You're you're trying to avoid something from crashing or avoiding a breakup or a disaster, right? Trying to avoid a big life-changing event in a big way. Or if I look at the other supporting cards, I feel this could also be something where you're trying to rebuild something that was destroyed. I think, I think you're trying to rebuild a situation, okay? Because with the 10 of wands in reverse here, I feel there was a situation, a connection or a relationship that was too much, this could be you, Gemini, or your cross watcher, all right? Or the person you guys. Someone laid off a relationship, laid off a connection. Like, fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore. This is getting too much. I can't take the pressure. Someone laid off a connection. And probably with the two of wands here, this could have been a very long pending decision, okay? Someone could already be questioning the connection. And you couldn't have known about it. And it just happened all of a sudden, like, boom. Like, like hi, babe. What's up? And the next thing you know is like, I'm not your babe. We're not dating anymore. We broke up last night. Do you remember? It's like, what the fuck? So yeah, I think you're trying to rebuild a connection. You're trying to rebuild. You know what the good part out here is? That the tower always comes in when there is a foundation of something which has not been built um, correctly. Okay. The foundation is super weak. So the tower had to crash regardless. Okay. So, well, I think it's a good thing. I think with the tower in reverse, I think the worst is over. Whatever had to happen, happened. And now you're going to be ready to rebuild from scratch. With the Ten of Swords in reverse here, yes, this could have been a betrayal. Someone felt betrayed, backstab, or hurt. Okay, this is hurt. This is overkill, guys. This is a very painful energy. All right. I mean, I've been there. I understand that. Okay, the Ten of Swords is like overkill. It's like just ended up feeling hurt. Or this could just be where you completed a painful phase, okay? Something was just done, ended a painful cycle, and now you're trying to overcome the pain, okay? You're trying to heal from a heartache. You're trying to get over it. So I think that you're trying to recover from a breakup, okay? And you're trying to release whatever the pain and hurt was there from that ending. You're trying to, re you're trying to recover from a breakup, and now you're ready to rebuild, okay? You're try ready to build from scratch, that's awesome. That's awesome. I think this is good. This is good stuff. You're trying to build it. Okay. You're trying to get there. Like, let's build from scratch. I think that's why, because now you're over it. Okay. You could have been in this energy for a very long time. Someone could have betrayed you. You could have betrayed someone, but whoever this, someone's healed. Okay. They're healing. The swords are all falling off. Okay. You're back. What's on your mind? 
cute. You have the page of cups on your mind. You want to communicate with someone or someone wants to communicate with you. The page of cups is lovey-dovey communication. But I feel with such, with the tower in reverse, seriously, that was some shit that went down, okay? So I don't think this is more like, hey, baby, what's up? You want to talk? Let's rebuild. Uh, I don't think so. This is more like an apology, okay? This is an apology. This is emotional communication. This is 100% apology. I don't see this as flirty communication because you're going through something big. I don't think you're interested or the person who's dealing with you, I don't think they're coming in with you like, like with a flower or with a stupid emoji. I don't think so. I think this is an apology. On your mind is an apology. I think you want to offer an olive branch to someone, okay? You're going after something, okay? You're going after something. Whoever this person is, okay? This could be someone who could have been your dream person, but you're wanting to go ahead and opening up your emotions, okay? This is going to be good communication back and forth. That's what's on your mind. The reason for the reading is uh, the seven of pentacles. Waiting, 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 and watching. The seven of pentacles is an energy where what's happening, either you're doing this or them, okay? Someone is doubting a connection, 100%, okay? This is someone, look, it could be you who's wanting to talk and at the same time, you're still waiting, okay? You're doubting this connection. You're still not sure if you want to invest in this or not, okay? But the thing is that you invest, you know, you invested way too much time and energy into this, okay? And now you're waiting and watching, if you want to if you want to pursue this or not okay if you want to continue investing in this or not or the other way to look at this is that you want to communicate with someone and probably this person is waiting okay they're just waiting they're not doing anything about it they're just waiting for you to come to them and talk it could be anyways maybe you want to communicate with them because you feel you've invested a lot and now you're at a standstill should i should i not or this is this uh, or this is just the person who wants to communicate to you, but you're just like on the waiting game, okay? Like, should I, should I not? Is this worth it or not? Is, am I ever going to get the fruits of my labor? Am I ever going to get the returns of the emotions that I've invested in or not? Queen of Wands in reverse. Ooh la la. Someone's not ready to take action. Someone says, fuck off. Someone says, I am not taking action. You can go fucking egg. Seriously, the queen of wands to me, she's fucking scary when she's in the reverse, okay? She's she's very, very uh, unreliable. She's super ego-driven, okay? She can play head games also. But this is someone, you know what, who's very temperamental, yes, very demanding, yes. But I feel this is someone who's just not taking action, all right? This could be you. It is a feminine energy, but don't go by the gender. It's the energy of the card, okay? You could be in your feminine energy. Yes, why? Because look, it could be, look, it could also be that you're a male watching this video and you're in your feminine energy, okay? Very laid back, not trying to take action, okay? You're like trying, wanting the person to come towards you, all right? With the queen of wands in reverse here, I feel you're still not taking action forward. You're not feeling that vibe. You're lacking, in, you're lacking the passion. You're losing interest. I feel you're losing interest in this person. Someone's lost interest and hope in this connection. Someone's not taking action. There's a lack of action here. Someone's lost the passion. Someone's lost the interest. That's what I feel. So maybe you want this, but by the time you come in with that, you or them, whoever comes in with that weak ass apology, I think it's going to be too late because you weren't in the two of wands here for a very fucking long time. Stagnancy, bro. Stagnancy. And by the time you come in, the queen of wands has already turned her back towards you. Good. Doesn't have to be for everyone. All right. Clap for the ten of wands in reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here as the overall energy? The Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords in reverse. All right. So someone, after someone let down a burden, let down a situation, let the situation or let a relationship go. Now someone wants to talk with Eight of Wands here. That sucks. So it's like, you know, you do, the person doesn't understand, you know, their, your value till you don't let them go, right? You just have to put that fire under their ass for them to realize, like, you know what? Are you going to fucking level up? Yes or no? Now you want to communicate because someone's put in. Now you want to communicate like a lot with the aid of ones here. This is fast progress, okay? This is a lot of communication back and forth. Passionate, all right? You want things to move forward. 
really super speed like lightning bolt speed with a page of swords here yes you want to communicate you could be stalking and spying on this person you could be investigating a lot this is my fbi of tarot but yes you were just trying to watch their moves okay you were trying to watch what's going on at the same time with the nine of swords here, you were freaking out okay you were in panic mode all right you have been overthinking about this person this person has been on your mind constantly okay there's not been one second when you haven't stopped thinking about this person you're spying on them and now you can't wait you want things to be in like speed like now now this has to happen now well if you wanted things to happen now then what made you be in this two of one stagnant energy you were not supposed to stand there with a globe in your hand and stare you were supposed to pick a wand what the fuck Gemini, if this is not you, this could be the cross watch on my nose is itching. Fuck. All right. Fly for the tower in reverse. Fly for the tower in reverse. Hmm. We have the four of cups, the ace of wands, and the justice in reverse. Clearly, with the justice in reverse, someone needs to rectify a situation, all right? Does justice means something was unfair, something was imbalanced, okay? Someone felt some injustice was done to them, all right? That's why the thing crashed, right? That's why, that's why shit happened. With the ace of wands here, you want a brand new passionate beginning with them. You have a lot of passion for them. You, you, you're really, um, into this person, all right? Yes, you want a clean slate with them, okay? You want to forget everything in the past. But um, I feel because there is a lot of injustice that was done in the past, right? You want to rectify it, yes. But this is someone, someone's in this energy, okay? They feel wrong. They were done wrong. They didn't get what they deserve, okay? And with the Four of Cups here, I feel that someone's going to reject an offer. I feel you are scared of being rejected, the Four of Cups is someone feeling rejected or someone's offer was rejected. I feel you're in this mode of being re feeling rejected. You feel someone, you, you're, you're feeling rejected and you realize that something was wrong. Okay. I, this, this was wrong done to you or you did something wrong to them. But with the Ace of Wands here, someone wants a passionate beginning. Okay. And whoever wants this beginning, they knew that they did something wrong to the other person. But with the Four of Cups here, they're fearing rejection. This is someone who's afraid of rejection. Like, you know what? Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, I took my own sweet time. Yeah, I did, I did this. I did that. But well, yeah, I mean, I'm scared of rejection. So yeah, so you don't want to come in and talk. You don't want to speak. You don't want to, um, uh, you know, um, apologize. You know, you want to, you, you want to come in with that lame ass page. You don't want to come in with a king. And then you're expecting things to just rebuild like overnight. I don't think that happens. Okay. The four of cups. It, it's a very egoistic uh, energy. Let me tell you that, okay? You're fearing rejection. That's a very low vibrational place, okay? Like you're already thinking of the worst before it's even happened. That's what I think. Clap for the Ten of... Clap for the Ten of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords in reverse? Clap for the Ten of Swords in reverse. Wow. 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 Guys, if you get married, please invite me. All right. Look at this, Gemini. I love it. I love it. All right. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. Guess who's coming in, Gemini? Someone loves you. They want a relationship with you. They want to be with you. They want this connection with you. They want it. They want it now. And they want it forever. They're coming in correctly. They want a commitment with you. They want stability, security, marriage, kids, the dog, the hamster. They want everything with you. And with the two of cups here, they love you. You already know that you love them too. This is a fucking strong soulmate connection. All right. You feel it. You feel the connection. Okay. They're coming in. And with the page of wands here, hell to the fucking yeah, they're coming in, guys. They're coming in. They want to heal. They want to come out of the stain of swords in reverse. They're healing. They're healed. They've healed. And now they're coming in. They want this with you. They're coming in with the justice in reverse, right? They're coming in to rectify a situation. Someone wants to make something right. All right. Fly for the page of cups. What is this page of cups? What is this page of cups? Is this communication or is this an apology? Now I definitely think it's an apology. Clap for the page of cups. 
Except for the Page of Cups. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Calm down. Breathe, Gemini. All right. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Chariot in reverse and the Death in reverse. Breathe in, breathe out, Gemini. All right. I understand that you want to go in and apologize to this person. I understand you want to talk to them. I know you want to flirt with them, okay? When you go to them, have a shield in front of you, okay? Wear a helmet or something like that. All right, just kidding. It's not the Queen of Swords in reverse. But with the King of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel when you go to this person, this person's going to literally be like, who? Gemini, Gemini her. Who? Gemini who? Um, The one uh, with the tower crashed. Who, when, why? Look, they are too focused on their work right now, Gemini. They're self-focused. They're working on themselves. They're working on their money. They're working on their pentacle. They don't give a shit to the relationship. Okay. With the chariot and reverse here, things have come to a complete fucking halt. Yes, it could be. You could blame the quarantine. So yeah, you could give that the benefit of the doubt. But we all know who it is, right? Who's doing this, right? You are the cross watcher. But with the chariot and reverse, things have come to a complete halt. King of Pentacles reverse. Yes, this is someone who is non-committal. Yes, but I see it as someone who is very, very focused on their work. They're focused on money. This could be someone who's not very good with their money or this is someone who's struggling financially to get their financial independence or get their stability in money. And with the death reverse, yes, this is someone who's coming back from the dead. Okay, this is someone rising from the phoenix, rising from the ashes. All right. The problem is that if it was the death, I would have felt that this is someone who's gone through a transformation, all right? But with the death in reverse here, this is definitely someone who you've not ended things with or someone who you didn't have a closure with, all right? And someone where things when, came to a complete halt with, all right? These two cards, yes, things have come to a complete halt and someone left, but now they want to come back from the dead. With the King of Pentacles in reverse here, it could also mean that this, whoever uh, this person is, right, this could have been someone very non-committal, all right? Someone who is very self-focused. They're very self-indulgent. They're always about me, 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 me. They take care of themselves, their needs, etc. Or it could also mean that whoever's coming back from the dead, right? They're coming back from the dead. Things have come to a complete halt. But now they're focused on their work. And now you want to communicate with them, okay? You want to offer this apology to them. Just take it how it resonates. I'm just going to say the stories, how they relate to me. I mean, you know, but you're going to take it how it resonates. It's fine. All right. Clarify the page. Um, No, sorry. Clarify the eight of pen, seven of pentacles in reverse. What the fuck's happening? Clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Pentacles in reverse. Grab the seven of pentacles in reverse, please. Okay. Hmm. The hermit in reverse. The four of swords in reverse. And the four of pentacles. One thing is for sure, Gemini, you're not letting this person go or they're not letting you go. Okay. They've kept you super close to their chest. All right. Very close. They're not letting you go. This is a stubborn energy. All right. You are mine. You ain't going nowhere. That's the kind of energy. All right. That's the kind of energy. With the four of swords in reverse here, I feel they're coming out of isolation and they're coming in to talk to you. All right. They're coming out of that withdrawing mode. They're coming to talk to you. Two cards with the hermit in reverse here. Again, this is someone who's isolated themselves. Who, who, this could be someone who's ghosted you, right? And who could have taken some time out to gather their thoughts. Okay. But, all this while, all this while, Gemini, they've not let you go. They've held on to you very tight, all right? But they're coming out of their isolation mode. They're coming out. The ghost is coming back, okay? And they're coming in to talk to you. But with the Seven of Pentacles here, I think it's you probably who's the one who's going to be thinking, okay? Either it's you or this is your cross watcher, okay? You're going to be thinking, you're, I told you, right? This is more like waiting. Like, is this worth the investment or not? They want to rebuild with you. But you're going to be in this energy of like, should I, should I not? You're going to be in two minds, okay? Earlier, they were in two minds and they fucked it up. And probably now you're going to be like, now it's your turn, probably. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, 
Someone's coming back from the dead. That's for sure. The hermit in reverse, the death in reverse, uh, the four of swords in reverse. Okay. They're coming in to talk. They've taken a break. They're back from rehab. I don't know why I keep saying re rehab. Was this someone who had a lot of addictions? I mean, I don't see the devil here, but is this someone who was on a lot of, who's on a lot of drugs or something? I don't know. Clap for the queen of wands in reverse. Clap for the queen of wands in reverse. Clap for the queen of wands in reverse. What is the queen of wands in reverse? Slow clap. You know what, Gemini? Seriously, let me say this. I feel earlier you were the one who was not budging. Now it's they're the one who's not budging. You know, I feel like there's a fucking budge fest going on. It's like it was your turn first. Now you want to come back to me? Now I'll show you what real stubborn means. All right. It's like I'll show you what's in action. I'll show you what I can do. The Queen of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Strength. Look at this woman. She is putting in all her fucking strength and power to pull back. This is someone who's pulling the fuck back. She's like, I ain't fucking giving in. No, not this time. This is someone who's staying super strong. She's putting in all her strength not to give in to the situation. However, however, yes, this person is emotionally shut off. This person is very, very cold, very detached. This is not someone who's going to give you the most emotional approach. They're not taking an emotional approach anymore. They're going to be uh, the Leo, the female Leo. I mean, this is more like someone who's super strong. Yeah, this is a female who's holding back. It's not female, but a feminine energy. Doesn't have to be feminine, actually. It's the queen of wands. That's why I said feminine. But this is someone who's holding back. They're going to be emotionally shut off to you. But at the same time with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel they're not moved on. I don't think they've moved on. They tried to, but they couldn't. I think this is someone who's still there. They will show you, they will emotionally manipulate you, showing you how cold they are, how detached they are, that they don't give a fuck to the situation. Because of the strength, you're not even going to probably even, if it, you, you won't be able to doubt that. You won't, it's like no doubt. You're going to be like, yeah, I'm sure this person doesn't give a shit to me. But what's going on behind the scenes is the eight of cups in reverse. This is someone who's not being able to move on. All right. They can't move on from you. They may show you as much as the strength they want, but they're not being able to move on from you. All right. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.